We're getting a heel turn. It is happening right now for the first time in WHF history. The moment. It's here, man. Bro. <laughs> oh, dude. Am I upset? And look, normally I'm usually a pretty easy, calm going guy. Like, you come on the channel, you're going to enjoy, you're going to have a good time. But today, it's slight and opposite. Now, if you guys saw what we were doing, I think it was either Wednesday or Thursday of this week. You guys saw us working on this Randy Orton right here, WrestleMania attire. Now, I'm going to post a picture. I'm going to place them right here on the left. Look at the right and see what I did. Now, I'm going to need some serious motivation right now, you guys. The only way that I'm going back in here and redoing this Orton is that if we reach at least a 1,000 likes. If we reach a 1,000 likes... On this video, I'll go ahead and back and do it. Now, if you, if you, if you do the comparison right here from what you're seeing, you're seeing nothing. I had to completely scratch everything off, get rid of everything because the paint and color that I went with, it was the opposite, man. It was saying that it was a lime green, but instead it came out to be a yellow. So this Randy Orton, not only are you ruining my backdrop, but you're also going back on the bench unless if the WHF universe reaches that goal. Now, the one thing we got some positives. Don't worry. Sorry, man out of all that negativity we got some good things coming out of this first of all we got the Rollins right well at least 99.56 percent 7 9 10 8 11 12 percent complete there's only one minor thing and I'll cover that in just a sec well apart from the vest but don't worry dude this Rollins right here he won't be alone no 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 custom figure shirts he actually ended up coming through with some great stuff here not just for Rollins but for my boy AJ Styles, for my guy Kofi Kingston, Big E, also a Buddha Figs. Who's a Buddha Figs, man? He's the one that made the dream possible. What dream? Are you talking about the Velveteen dream? We sure are, dude. We're getting the Hollywood here in the near future. Dude, you know, man, the workbench on the Hero Fix channel, it's always full. We also have the, like I said, the AJ Styles. We did get this one. I think this one was with Elite Series 66, but it was just wrong. So now we have it right, you guys. We also have the rest of the New Day. Now, these are all based off size, as you can see. Kofi Kingston, it's the longer one. Xavier Woods, a little bit shorter. The guy likes to go up, 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 down on the channel. So he, his is going to be a little bit shorter. But big ease. We need a mass torso, and you can see the size differential. We're going to put it all on the fix, too, by the way, on the channel right now on the video. So this is going to go on big E. I think this is Kofi, and then, like I said, Xavier Woods. Now, the last one right here, this one right here, it's the Beast Slayer, the man that's standing right here in front of us waiting to get its touch-up. Now, right here, as you can see, if you're wondering why the elbow pad is on there, this was kind of based off uh, Monday Night Raw, the night after WrestleMania. The man was a little bit damaged. I mean, the guy went into war against the Beast, so he was battered and bruised. So, that being said, man, I had to add the elbow, and I don't know what it is about this elbow pad, but it's really making this Seth Rollins feel complete, at least until we get the vest on. Now, this shirt right here, this is reflecting as to what he did at WrestleMania. Look at that, dude. We're getting that tat that we see on Beast on Brock Boy right there with the two swords going across. Thanks a lot, man. Custom figure shirts. The man is always on fire. He must have gone to Suplex City and burned it down. <laughs> Check out this custom, you guys. Now, some of you may have seen early stages of the actual figure that we did back early on in the week. But now we got him pretty much semi-done with the tights right here. The belt. Now, I don't know what he was going based off here, you guys. There were some questions that were raised, you know, when the, he actually wore this attire. Some people are saying that it's Black Panther uh, inspired. Some were talking about maybe like even Ronin from Marvel. I mean, both of them, right? Marvel superheroes, whatnot. So I want you guys to tell me like what you guys feel as to what he was trying to reflect with this attire now i did finish the rest of the uh kick pads right here that you might have not seen on wednesday night i also finished the rest of the line work right there on the kick pads right there all taping work job done right here by yours truly no decals i do have to finish part of the kick pads down towards the bottom right here um my boy mac decals was calling me out on it don't worry bro it was in the works i just wanted to sure show you an early stage but now the line work right here, I think it came out pretty clean. I did go back in here and actually touched it up. 
The belt's all done. Again, this is all hand-painted on the back right there. What you're seeing with the line, it, it does kind of all come together right there in the middle. So pretty happy with this Rollins. I also did the wrist straps. That's another thing you might have not seen earlier on in the week. I did the SR logo right there with the gold trim on the bottom, on the top, all over on this figure, dude. So stoked. I did the head swap, too, because I know that was one thing that we were talking about. Uh, you know when we did that so really stoked to see this complete man the vest is the final piece and I'm just I'm just happy man having like this the Beast Slayer shirt and then the universal title this Rollins dude Oh my gosh you guys so stoked to see this on the channel now the drum has been rolling for quite some time right here You guys might have seen me seen this in my stories. I started this early on in the week I mean we were working on it since the get-go, but I wanted to take my time. I wanted to make sure that if anything came out, you know, with this figure, you guys know I love my Balor boy. I wanted to make sure that it was captured truly as to how it was worn that night. Check this out, you guys. There was so much just on this backdrop. Now, I do have to go back in and do the face paint on the rest of the figure as well as the, the front part right there by the chest area. But the back piece, dude, yeah, man. I mean, all in all, so far, just this back piece alone, you're talking about six to eight hours. This was so time-consuming, but we had to get something up for you guys today on the channel, being that it's the main event of the WHF Biggie History. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So stoked, dude. This one has got to be my favorite one, like, from... All of the attires that he's done, you know, on NXT or even on the main roster, this one really stood out to me. I mean, it wasn't a grand moment, right? He won the IC title at Mania, but nonetheless, that was a really cool art piece. Walter, we needed our UK champion also on the channel. Some things that I do plan on doing with this as well is shaving part of the bottom of it. Like, I want to acetone, like, from right here going down and doing, like, a paint blend with the rest of the top right here. But this is kind of, like, Steisenberg-inspired. He had made this torso right here. This was a Samoa Joe with Brock Lesnar lower legs. And I do have to go higher up on the socks because he does wear black socks right there. So, yeah, I mean, there's minor things. This has got to be one of the easiest customs to ever make, you guys. If you ever want to pick up a brush, I mean, really, there's no brush required, mainly part swapping. But do that with a jack scan of the old Vladimir Kozlov. Bro, you are golden, but you won't be golden until a Buddha figs hits you with the dream, dude. Let's get this mug out of here, dude. This guy right here, I actually... Um, I was on on eBay. I had uh, gone on there and I was checking out some of the customs that were posted during that time. And I found this right here and I knew the image looked familiar and I couldn't put my finger on it. So I sent him a message on Instagram. I'm like, bro, I know I saw this posted on Instagram. Is this you? And he's like, yep, that's me, dude. He also had the Hollywood, but the only one, the only auction that I had won from that night was this right here. The dream when he took on Alistair Black. Yep, and that's why he has that. If you look on the right side over here, you're seeing... Oh, what's going on right there, man? Oh, what's this? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, it's a schmutz. It's a schmutz. You almost gave me a heart attack, dude. <laughs> so this is Aleister Black on the right side. And then on the left, we have the Dream right there, right? From uh, NXT TakeOver. It says, say my name, say my name when no one is around you. Say, baby, I love you. You be running games. Say my name. The torso is different because if you recall the one that we did get with Elite Series 67 was the Triple H look and that wasn't right dude so he went in there and got that right. I think this might be a Kofi Kingston torso so one thing that I want to do is A do the uh, right NWO and we're also doing it you guys saw it in the beginning of the video it's going to happen. You're going to see the Holly, the red and uh, red and yellow, and then also the Hollywood. So, pretty cool. Uh, and now, uh, he did throw in this scan right here that you are seeing on the actual figure. This is the one based off Elite Series 67. So, no, like, really nothing that I'll have to do with the scan. And, you know, some minor things, really not much, but pretty cool to have this, man. So awesome, dude. I think you did a great... These are all decals, too, by the way. On the back, we got the NXT, and we got the combination of the blue and the red and yellow yes siree man i'm getting lost because we have so many stacked over here now the new day we'll put the new days we'll we'll add all these shirts right here towards the end right here because i do want to get that complete but the one thing that i want to show you guys so 
The scan that I originally wanted to go with for Finn Balor, it was going to be, I mean, this is just a full-on formula of the ringside exclusive, but I do plan on doing the shorter here. I think this will be a lot easier to work with, not only because of the facial expression, but also the hair piece right there. Now, this next one right here, some of you may have seen this on the Triple H versus uh, Batista action figure match that we did post on the channel. So work right now it's yeah it's all in the process right now but i still wanted to keep you guys up to date i love keeping you guys up to date can you blame me i want to let you guys know as to what's going on right here on the channel Shawn michaels i do want to make his last match and no i'm not talking about his retirement match you know back in the ruthless aggression but i'm talking about when he took on uh it was him and uh, who else was he? Got? Oh, yeah, it was the tag team match. It was Triple H and Shawn Michaels versus Brothers of Destruction. So I'm going to acetone all this off. And then I'm going to do the line work right there on the actual pants as well as the vest. So, yeah, this is going to look pretty lit, you guys. Hope you guys like it. Now, next up right here, I want to give a huge shout out to RKO 1974. Now, some of you may have seen the Prince Dever right here with like the non like actual entrance gear. Well, we did have it, but it was cloth. But RKO came through with this epic piece, man. So I wanted to add the scan from that figure, combine it all together, and then bring it to you guys on the channel. So really cool. Now, this next one, you guys, this is so cool. Oh my gosh. Check this out. Now, this is actually going to be a two-piece part. Because if you guys do recall when we did the unboxing on this, we did have the white alternate attire so not only do we have the black i wanted to add the jacket that's one thing we forgot to do on that video when we did this um i wanted to add the jacket the wings as well as this right here to check this out so the white attire right oh no 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 no! hold up you guys this is one figure right here that we got to get cracked open that has been in the whf collection for far too long we have the godfather and we're not here to review the godfather but instead, we are here to jack that coat from him. Oh, yes, sir, Bob. Give me that jacket, Mr. Godfather, Mr. Ladies Man with the cane, with the glasses, with the... Wait, not Big Red Machine cane, but an actual cane right there. There's the glasses. Dude, let me check out these glasses, though, man. These are kind of lit. I like it. I don't know if they, these are will actually go on them still, but let's find out. Oh, yeah. We're golden. We're good. We're on the WHF channel, so you know we're going to be good. This is the coat that I need, man. Give me this jacket. Give me this jacket. We got to put it right here on this final piece to complete it, man. Well, minor decals, minor designs on the tights, but once they get added, once you add the mask, dude, you're going to see the gloriness of it all. Let's add this puppy right there. Oh, my gosh, dude. This is so lit. Check it out. Now we got the black. Now we got it in white. Woo! Marty Scrawl is getting complete. Ooh, oh my gosh. This is so wicked. Let's add the shirts. Now that we've added the vest to it, let's add these shirts. Let's add the velvety. Well, we can't do this one quite yet. We'll still add it just so you guys can get an idea as to what's going to go down. So let's go ahead and do that right now. To be quite honest, I don't even know where do we start. I mean, do we start with the New Day? Do we start with the Dream? Do we start with the Phenomenal One? There's just so much. I mean, you want to talk about some serious thumbnail action? It's happening right now. Look at that. <laughs> Custom Figure Search always makes my collection feel complete, you guys. Oh, my gosh. This is so epic. Look at that. We got the New Day. New Day rocks. Custom Figure Shirt rocks. No, that we can't do that right. <laughs> it doesn't rhyme. But if it did, you know, it would be phenomenal. There's the AJ, dude. We had it in black, but we needed it in the blue. And now we got the dream. Eh, not even 50% complete. But you get the right idea as to what's going to happen right here with the red and yellow. And Rollins, you know the man's always going to burn it down. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And we'll see you on the next one.